Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sort of story time slash my experience with a specific brand of cat treats. This is a cat treat that I will tell people like, hey, don't feed your cats this cat treat because it makes a lot of cats sick. So the cat treats that I'm talking about are the Temptations cat treats. If you don't know what they are, they're, they typically tend to be called the junk food of cat treats. They're not good for your cats. They're full of filler products, they're full of just really not so great things to feed your cats, which I can hear plenty of people saying, hey, Chi, you know, why not? I mean, we feed ourselves terrible food sometimes, and if they like it, and it's only every so often, then what's the harm? Well, one of the controversies that has been coming up with these cat treats is that it makes these cats really, really sick, and it makes them ill and could potentially kill your cat. There's some people who are saying, no, I feed these to my cats and they're just fine, or whatever, and even the Whiskers Company, I think is what it is, if it's not, I'm gonna put it here, whatever it is. The company that makes the Temptations cat treats, um, they have come out saying that, you know, everything in the cat treats are fine for cats, and that they don't know why so many people are complaining. If you look on Google and you just type in Temptations Cat Treats and that's all you type in, it is on the first page down at the bottom. It says consumeraffairs.com and there are 323 reviews and complaints about the Temptations Cat Treats and cat foods and it has a 1.3 star rating. And lots of people are asking, you know, will Temptations cat treats kill my cats? Will it make them sick? What's going to happen? Because there are so many people complaining about these cat treats. Many of the complaints are saying that their cats have become lethargic, their cats have become sick, their cats have been throwing up, their cats have been not eating their regular food and only wanting the cat treats and just throwing up. There was uh, rectal failure, there was kidney failure, there was cancer in some cats. And I can show you screenshots of various different people who have posted different complaints that are just really heartbreaking because there's so many people who are just really devastated by this. But I mostly want to speak about my own experience with the Temptations cat treats and what it did to my cat specifically and why I don't feed them these treats. So it's been about two years. It showed up on my timeline as a, a memory on my Facebook page showing that it's been two years since this happened and this was a really heartbreaking moment for me, especially if you know me personally and you know that I cannot function without my cats, basically. Um, so. When, when I would sometimes work, I would feel like really anxious and I would, you know, try to get my cats to come over and I would give them treats and they would slowly start, like Simba for example, he would just throw up and he was constantly throwing up like undigested food. Um, back then I was feeding him Meow Mix and they loved their Meow Mix and so, you know, they were eating that and he would just vomit, like right after he ate. I thought at first it was, you know, oh, he's eating too fast. So I tried, you know, feeding even smaller portions more frequently throughout the day. I think I was feeding them five or six times a day with like little tiny portions, you know, just to try to do that. And he would still throw up and I just, I wasn't sure what was happening. He just kept throwing up and he, he slowly started to not want to eat any of his food and so I started feeding him more of the temptation of cat treats because that was the only thing that he would eat. And Chakra, on the other hand, she was still fine. She was still eating all the food. She was gaining weight while Simba was losing it because he wasn't eating his regular food and he would just vomit. And then in the mornings, he would throw up yellow bile and it was just very scary and I didn't know what was happening. At first I thought, you know, because it was only happening every so often, I was like, oh, well, maybe he got into something. So I would, like, 
scour the area looking for, you know, maybe if he got into some chemicals, so I, I put them all up, I, I switched all sorts of things around, I moved stuff, I thought maybe it was his food, so I switched food brands, and that, first of all, made his vomit smell even worse, so, well, duh. Um, then I decided, okay, well maybe I need to feed him wet food, so I switched them over to wet food for a while, and the vomiting just stopped, and he ate his food, and he was fine, and it was great, and so then I was like, okay, now I'm gonna slowly try to switch him over to solid foods again, and I did, and the minute I did that, he didn't want to eat any of his solid foods, and what little he did eat, he would vomit back up. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take him to the hop, the, the veterinarian clinic, you know, it's, it, this has been an ongoing thing, I don't know what's going on, I'm going to take him to the vet. And the vet had no idea what was going on with him, and he also noticed that Chakra had a fever, and that she was also sick. I didn't even notice, because she didn't, she wasn't showing any sort of outward symptoms, she was just shaking, she had a fever, she was not feeling good, she was not a happy cat. And this whole time, I was worried about Simba. So he was like, look at what you're feeding your cats, look at what you're, you know, what, what all is happening, you know, cats aren't supposed to have a dry food diet anyways, they need to be, you know, with, like, wet foods, that's their diet that they're supposed to be on, so it might not be a bad idea to just switch them on to a wet food diet anyways. So I was like, okay, so I went and purchased a bunch of wet food, and then I started looking at the treats. I started really researching to, you know, what is good for cats, what is bad for cats, and I found out, you know, you shouldn't be feeding your cats like cornmeal or any sort of like byproducts and things like that, and so I was like, okay, I will start looking at the, the food that I've been feeding them. And I typed in Temptations Cat Treats, and that's when I found out that those treats were causing the same sort of side effects that my cats were having into other cats, and a lot of them who didn't catch it on time their cats died. And what's really upsetting though is that I've been feeding them these cat treats for years prior to this experience. And I realized around the time that Simba was getting sick, around the time that, you know, all of this was happening, the new bags that I had, because I would purchase a bunch of them at a time, the new bags that I had were a part of their new formula. They changed their formula. And I didn't know about this until way <laughs> after because I was still finishing up the old bags. Now there are many people who suggest that Temptation Cat Treats are only bad because there's something in it that the specific cats who are sick are allergic to. And that is a concern, yes. However, there's 328 people complaining about it, and I'm sure there's even more people who haven't even written a review on it because I sure have it. How many other people out there? have this problem, and that's that's enough people to have a concern that maybe there's something in it that shouldn't be in there. I don't know what it is. I've not gone and gotten any sort of samples done, I haven't gone to do things. There are people who say, oh well these cats are older and so they're exhibiting these things. But the minute I stopped feeding them the Temptations Cat Treats, everything was fine. At the end of the day, you know, you definitely want to be very conscientious about what it is that you are feeding your cats, what it is that they're digesting, what it is that, you know, the companies that make it, because the people don't regulate cat food or cat treats the same way they regulate human food. So it's really a good idea to research the things that you are feeding your pets before you give it to them. Just because a pet store is selling these treats doesn't mean that they have your pet's best interest in mind. Don't feed your cat's Temptations cat treats. Do the research beforehand and if your cat is sick right now, stop feeding them the Temptations cat treats and switch them over to something else. See if they, they get better. And if this just saves one cat, then it'll be completely worth it. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you this week. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Have you had the same problem as me? Have you not? Um, I'm gonna leave all the links to all of the things down below of the different websites with people talking about their experiences and 
Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think that it's just that my cats are old and that's why they started getting sick or what is it? And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye!